when we talk about a house that didn't sell the first time, you know, you know the bold script. It's it's not necessarily, you know, it's not necessarily the agent didn't do their job. It's most likely an approach. Are you familiar with the approach that we use? And you can say that in the middle of a listing presentation to help separate the two ideas that potentially your agent did a great job, but it did, they didn't get it sold. And so let's talk about the approaches that we use to help get it sold. And when we're there, when the market's rejecting it, it's usually because of price. Can we all agree on that? Right? The, the house is in the condition it's probably going to stay in unless after being on the market, they're willing to all of a sudden start updating it right, and, and fixing some of those things. So it's about helping them understand that even though the market, it, the market is the one that re determines the price, you know, I'm here to interpret it, right, you're going to hear a lot of bold scripts from me, you know, I'm just here, Mr. Seller, to help you interpret the market. The buyers ultimately determine the price they're willing to pay. I would much rather have you receive an offer and reject it than to never receive one at all. Right. Right? That's a great script. If you don't say that right now, that one can be used over and over. Price reductions, listings, you know, anytime they aren't sure on the price, remind them that if they get a low offer, they don't have to take it. Remind them that that, that doesn't mean that they're selling for that number. And so when you get into that conversation, you're going to really truly understand their motivation. And sometimes we're going to roll the dice and say, well, I'll list them anyways, and hopefully they'll change their mind by the time that offer comes. And if they don't, that's on us, right? Right. And so it's tough to know, but when we're talking with sellers right now, with the shift coming, we have a lot of ammunition that our market is adjusting. Um, Olga, call me. Right? People really start to consider that the market's adjusting, or they, they haven't yet considered and realized that the market is changing. And so when we talk with them about them not getting the, the, the price that they want for the it's important that we start to educate them about the history of the market.